might be finally setting up the arena, setting up the scoreboard. And here we go in the grand finals of Drip or Drop 5. Let's get into this game. Let's see how we can do. I will be serious as hell as I want. Alright, so we're gonna be start <laughs> We're gonna be starting this game one off of Grand Finals here. All Pokemon stay in two. Now Buzze getting the run back that she deserved, but now she's gotta at least win two sets while Jen only has to win one. Yes. Six games to three. And you gotta see whether if uh Buzze has learned anything from their winners finals interaction. Yeah. And it seems like right now she's definitely off to a great start. Honestly, actually, like a really, really great start. Yeah. It's still kind of evenish, but she's now got to be wary of it. Nice trade right there, but mm, that trade slightly more in the favor of Jen. Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> and, <laughs> wow! And Jen. she literally, oh my god, Buzzay definitely literally got spooked right there. Jen, honestly, doing a great job, not only with that empty hop, but forcing her to, you know, choose a panic option, choose yeah. a defensive option, which led to that us match right there. And now she's got to deal with Mitha, but. Oh, we're going straight back to the pirate here. Recovery. Oh, the delay from Jin to be able to evade that. Good stuff as well. So this is not the... I'm going to talk a little bit about the set right here. This isn't the second time that Buzzay has been in this spot. But similarly to when uh, Synergy actually came off. So he was able, able to take the first set. And Buzzay was able to at least respond back, get the adaption well, and be able to take the tournament too. So this is not an unfamiliar spot with the guns down to these type of regionals. Buzzay at least trying to get herself into a more better spot to maybe even take the biggest prize right now. Yep. And right now, Jin has uh, been punished for those prominence revolts twice so far. One that resulted in stock and one that resulted in at least resetting the situation right there. But it's getting met with a back there. And a, oh, I, I feel like a down tilt would have definitely been yeah, a lot better absolutely. than the up tilt. I honestly think that like Buzzay has had at least like three or four opportunities to punish that like Photon Edge, but just doesn't recognize those situations in time. Yep. She's almost always just like reacting to their opponent, and because of that, like, those people aren't reacting to Photon Edge. They're mostly either reading it ahead of time, and because of that, people don't expect it. I also think Buzzay has to start reading as to how Jin plays the habits. And even right there, Jin a lot of times wants to do a lot of this Providence Revolt back to the ledge. Buzzay has been conditioning to that to a T ever since those first few games. Wow. Uh, that's unfortunate for Buzzy right there because the Nair just did not work in her favor and that allowed Jin to get his Nair going right there. But right now, Buzzy now managed to reclaim center stage, but she's got to at least try to play it slow. Avoid avoid putting her in a spot that leads into a situation like this. Oh! And that's, that's definitely going to do... Oh, no. Actually, Buzzy... Oh, oh, no! no! Go on down. Fire to the blade. You call yourself the goddess of light, you get the goddess of the fire. Okay, Jin already taking out 1-0. Crazy because Buzzy just starting that perfectly, perfectly. Had great conditioning, knew how Jin would want to burst into them. But that's sort of the thing. People aren't just adapt. you aren't just adapting to them. People are adapting to your own adaptions. So this is a little bit crazy right now. What do you do? You're playing in the backseat. You've been in the situation before where you're down. You just have to start playing a little bit more. You have to find better options. I want to see what happens right there. Buzzy. I have seen some great plays. Ooh, good. And here, game two, we're here on Small Battlefield with such a good song coming from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Oh. It coming. Definitely one of my favorite songs. With the introduction of uh, Mithra and Pyra, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. This is perfect. The one thing I will say, perfect thing about Xenoblade 2 game, that, that game got a fire soundtrack when I played it. That game got some good hits. I yeah, definitely got to finish that too. So I say it's off stage. Oh, expected. Try to actually get both roll in and do to get up, but didn't space it properly. Down there. Yep. Up B. Yes. Oh, even with the air dodge, Buzzay not able to evade that. And honestly, that conversion from Jim was actually really, really solid. Not only that, due to the fact that Prominence result, uh, Revolt went on the landing hitbox, <laughs> that the Pillar of Flames has a big hitbox. But Jesus. Jin is putting it on a clinic here at Jin Buzzay. Jin, uh, Jin, Buzzay got absolutely lucky with that explosive play slightly poking at Jin. Because that was a big forward smash and that's insanely big for the mentality. 
Now this is Jin in confidence. That person just runs in with all sorts of hitboxes and it is a force to be reckoned with. Another Providence Revolt up high down hard. What can you do? It's, oh my god, man. Jin wants to go home. Jin wants to go home. Yeah, already. and that's... Well, I mean, Palatine definitely has a good recovery. So that, but the Chroma Dust is a good idea. As I mentioned before earlier in bracket, during pools, Chroma Dust hits at a low angle while uh, Ray of Punishment sends at a high angle. Yeah. So that's why usually if you see Cosmos do it, he does the Chroma Dust more so that way the opponent is not ready for it to tech. Because they do Ray of Punishment, that gives you the chance to tech. But right now, Buzz is really on the back foot here. She's got to figure out a way to bring this all the way back. And Jin is just not allowing that, man. Now, I will bring up a character that Buzzay has been playing. I actually got to grind a little bit with them with regards to the Sassy Grind Sword. They have a Cloud. They also have also, I've seen, uh, I've seen her play Rob also when it came to a Knoxville Monthly. So I think you have to find other options. You have to change the pace of this game because Jin is just completely adapted to you. Yep. This is why he's number one in Kentucky for a reason. Almost getting that up smash read, but unfortunately missing the mark, or at least missing the timing for the most part. Not really missing the mark. But right now, Jin is stuck at the at the right side of the stage here. And he's got to figure out how he's going to do it. Neutral air popping it forward. Ooh. Nice counter just to answer that bolt on edge. And that's the answer that's maybe that she could be, uh, have been looking for. Yeah. That first time was the time that, like, Buzzy has almost always been playing on reaction. Just reacting to what the opponent does. That time, they just said straight up, I know what you're going to do, and I'm going to commit. So now, starting to turn it up. Try to at least catch the situation. Jin has to find some ground. I think at that point, they start, he's starting to face a little bit too much for those aerials. Oh, what? Is that back here? That must have been back here. Down, I don't even know what the hell hit her. That had to be back here, because like that's the only thing I done that has like a fire hitbox and it sent you up. Like but down there, but down there does the same thing yeah, too. Yeah, dude. With the back hit, it will it will do the same thing. Yeah. I, I just have no idea what came out at that time. That's and that's unfortunate too. That's crazy. That's unfortunate. I, I see I see Shadow Draw slightly smiling on the other side. And just say like yes, I and finally right. might be able to get to go home. But I think, funny enough, every time I have said what I'm about to say, it has happened. So, Buzz A might get an adaption to bring this to a game five. So we'll uh, have to so, see how it goes. So real quick to answer Don't Cheese's question, right? So, so real quick, uh, at the tournament, everybody is required to wear a mask, right? Yeah. But the exception was, for those that do wear glasses, they're free to remove their mask because obviously if you're wearing, you know, if you're wearing the mask, you breathe through your nose and it's gonna fog up the glasses. Yeah. So at least the good thing is both those competitors are at least decently speed stop she does too. At least work it off a little bit better. Yeah, and don't worry, Buzzay, she's definitely been wearing her mask like right after each set anyway. So. Yeah. And we also a lot of players were able to at least be able to get the temperature check, get a lot of things going. So we'll have to see how this goes to the play. We're gonna see how this set goes in as well. But Jin looking to take this win. Ain't no sense we can't commit it. What can this man do? It seems like dude's doing everything right. Yeah, this looks like it's a really tough matchup for Palatina, man. It's just this character is so good, but in Jin's hands, it's insanity. Not letting Buzz A breathe whatsoever. Oh, Ooh, almost getting that down there right there. Man, I don't really know what Buzz A can really do. The only thing she can do is probably try to slow the pace of the match down, but. It's just like, Jen knows exactly what she wants to do, how she wants to escape and everything. Ooh, there's Ooh. that pressure too. Not gonna get with the power to revolt. Oh, catch like it too. Like yep. Because on the downward hit, he, she would have been stuck in a lot of his stuff, but that was a great, great answer coming from Buzzer. Nice empty hot into the grab right there. Nice teleport immediately avoiding that backer because that definitely would have cost her a stock. That's it. Oh, oh. this is the backer. That's probably the first time I've ever seen that conversion from Jin has like not hit. Yeah. It's hard to slip up a bit. Most of the situation, Jin's will just go for that commenter bolt because it's a lot more consistent. However, even then, big lead shot scenario. Jin looking for F2. Nope. Catches the fact that Buzzy wanted to escape the situation as fast as possible. Catches that jump personally. One more stock away before Kentucky invades and takes Jip from Drown. Jesus. A nice drag down up there coming from Buzzy. Oh! 
What the okay, hell's on your ass? Okay, and now Puzzay definitely answering back. This is an even game now. This is exactly what she needed to do because she has not really been punishing that Photon Edge. And it's really easy to do if you find yourself in that position. And downers are just quick and easy to do so. That counter is also another answer to that. Unfortunately, nice parry, but you got to bury all the hits coming from Mithra right there. And right now, they just been chilling at this left side here. Answering back and forth, back and forth. Resetting positions between each other. Ooh, that's damage. That, no, that's the, yeah, that's definitely going to be damage, but that's definitely not it. Down there, I was fast as in the range. I can see Jin start feeding for this. I think that's something that Buzzy has to start reading onto. Oh, oh, this catch did jump perfectly with that up here. But not just quite. 92%. Buzzy trying to get herself on the board. Drag yep. down oh. into it. They're not able to get it. And that flame Nova, she's really got to be careful. It's all those okay. hills. Oh! Wow. Is that going to do it? No. She's living. She has another chance. Avoiding that flame double. She's got to really... Don't get hit with that. Okay. That quite... Oh, that up there. Oh, oh my God. That up Dude, she's doing there. that so nice well. Nice there right there. Because it has a chance to get this game, but she cannot break. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Perfect. Jose has done a really good job in those high-pressure situations where she's not biting the bait from any opponent. And she knows full well what that will lead. Oh, but what she did until was not it, but luckily enough, none of the throws from uh, Pyra is going to kill. Or at least in this percent, it's definitely not going to kill. Oh, 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 that, oh, That empty hop into the cross-up, right, or to jump over her, leading to that up tilt. Man, good job on Jin. 3-0. This is your champion. For Drip or Drown 5, Jesus Christ. Man. Absolutely Jesus. great talent coming in from Kentucky. Both are day.